Hey, 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 guys. So, right now, you know, I want to talk to y'all while I'm getting ready because I got a lot of stuff to do. So, I'm getting ready right now. But what I wanted to talk about is an update on the Shane Quella Robinson case. Now, y'all see that I made my first video. And in my first video, I didn't have a lot of information on what had happened. But now that I have got the information, you know, that dude that was talking on the video and stuff, I think he's very suspect. I think he's very suspect. Because one thing is that he said when he came into the hotel, she was all beaten up. You know, her lip was busted. Her eye was bleeding and stuff like that. So I'm just like, if you come in there, this is supposed to be your friend. You come in there, you see your friend all beat up and stuff. Why would you put on Summer Bunny music and rub her head? That makes absolutely no sense. You should call the police right then and there and tell him look i don't know what happened i came in here my friend was all beat up um it looks like she's really hurt she needs to get to the doctor but to just up and leave her there that's not a friend you left her dude in that room with a broken back and a broken neck you left her if you were such a friend you should have stayed with her now, the other thing that I really had a problem with when I seen that the fight video is how the guy that was recording, he was instigating it. And I noticed a lot about black men. You guys are some bitches. You guys like to instigate a lot of stuff. You guys like to gossip. If you look on YouTube, you'll see a lot of black males gossiping, you know, instigating stuff. Because that, that must be what's in your nature. Y'all like hair. Like, that. that's why I think that when they did that study on black men, they found that black men have more um, estrogen than any male group. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But that's why, they, that's why they act the way they act. But for you to be recording, and you knew that you knew that lady needed help right then and there. You knew you should stop recording, and you should you should have got her up off the floor. Like, man, come on, man, stop, stop, man, stop hitting her. Like, come on, man, she's not even fighting back. Why are you doing that? She's not even fighting back. That's what you should have did. But you, as the 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 men you are, you sat right there and recorded while they beat that lady to death. They, when y'all are looking at the video, they are beating her to death. This lady passed away. This lady is no longer here. They beat her to death. And for you to just sit there, you know what? And that's why I'm telling black women, please die best. Please date out. I'm telling you. I'm not saying that every every relationship you're going to get in, sometimes it takes, yeah, there are there are um, no good men in every culture, but you, you'll never you'll never know if there's somebody out there good if you don't date out. And black men, they date out, they date out uh, more than anybody they date out. They date out more than black women. So let's tell you who they really are choosing. Please divest, because let me tell you something. If that was if there was a Brad in that room, he would have broke that up ASAP. He would have broke that up, especially if that was his girl. Brad is riding with his girl one hundred percent. He would have broke that up. He would have got them girls off for of his girl. He, even if it wasn't his girl, Brad would have been there. To get them girls off off of him, he wouldn't have sat there and let her get beat down like that. And then he would have known what to do. Like I told y'all, that's why I tell a lot of black women to die. That's not just because you know you'll get a different experience. It's because that Brad Brad has a lot of he has a lot of knowledge that black men just don't have. You know what I'm saying? A lot majority of black men they can't even swim. You know what I'm saying? They did a study and they said that a lot of black children don't, a lot of percentage of black children, they don't even know how to swim and their parents don't know how to swim. So that's one thing. You're not going to be safe with them. They don't have any kind 
uh, they they don't know how, half of them don't even know how to do CPR. Brad would have been on it. Brad know how to do CPR. Brad know that you you don't move nobody when they have a broken back. Brad has knowledge, and you'll be more safer with Brad than you will be uh the black man because a lot of black men they just don't have these life saving techniques. They don't they don't venture out. They don't they're not very adventurous. You can't get a lot of black people to go and run in the wild and chase lines and stuff, but Brad does. You can't get a lot of people that uh will will uh bungee jump off uh buildings and stuff, but Brad will. You don't have a lot of black people that will jump out of planes high up in the air, ten thousand feet in the air, but Brad will. You know, Brad is a very adventurous guy. He has a I'm telling you, if you date out, you will be going a lot of places. He has a lot of hobbies. He has a lot of things that he needs to get, activities that he needs to be at. I'm telling you. And I'm just saying, black women, please divest. Please, you do not have to be stuck with these kind of men. I know you guys are running. I know a lot of black women are running around and like, oh, he's such this great king and this, that, and the third. But the nigga, the Negro, it ain't even have a job. Like it, I, all these women I be talking to, their men don't even have no job. And who are they with? They're with the black man because he don't want the work. Majority of them, they're lazy. They don't want the work. They don't want to do no traveling. They just want to live the regular struggle life the struggle love life and that's what you're gonna get with the majority of them now i'm not saying that they're all like that but the majority yes they are let's not play that game so if you black women you know you have to you definitely have to like distance yourself from these type of ghetto um people that want to set you up now it's alleged that they stole you know, six. Now, this is alleged because you can't hear it, believe everything you said. So this is definitely alleged. I don't know if this happened, this happened, but they are saying that they went up there to rob her and that she had six thousand dollars missing. And um, I know allegedly somebody said that the dad um, to told them that. The, the friends told the dad that they needed uh him to wire them five thousand dollars so um that they could uh get the body back to the states or something but th this like this whole this was a whole scheme because i know that y'all have watched the video where uh Shanquilla was walking around the room and she was telling them it don't take that long to get uh naked hose or something like that I don't know if that might have pissed them off, but I just think that the a lot the, the all these friends were jealous of her. They were jealous that she was actually doing something with her life, just like all the other black girls that you have seen left this world. They were on a journey to a better and a, a spectacular life, and those friends did not like that, and they took them out. And that, just like that girl that uh, remember the girl that owned the um the beauty salon i think it was in baltimore and she wanted to give back to her community and she put her store in that ghetto uh neighborhood and they came they robbed her the first time and then the next time they they unalived her so this is just another tragic um situation that has happened again guys um with a black woman is doing very good because she was a very successful entrepreneur she did hair they said she did braids, and you can see by her hair that she knows how to, you know, she knows how to slay hair. You know, she's very beautiful. That made her mad. She has a nice shape. That even made him even more mad. So you got this black, beautiful woman. You know, she has a nice shape. She's beautiful. She's successful. That's all you need for somebody to hate. You don't need much. That's all you need is somebody to hate. And when you get to that level just like that man said in the video, I forgot his name, but he was like, you only going to have two people. You're going to have enemies and, and you're going to have, um, you know, associates. That's all you're going to have, but you ain't never going to have no kind of friends when you get to that type of, um, 
of level. I mean, look at Rihanna and look at Beyonce. Do you see Rihanna and do you see Beyonce and all these girl groups and, and you know, going out and partying and doing all this re this reckless stuff? No, you do not see them. Most of the time you see uh, Rihanna at some lavish events with her man, and that's it. You see Beyonce and Jay-Z, every Sunday they say they go to dinner to get pizza. They have a pizza day every Sunday they go. But you don't see Beyonce with a whole, with a, hanging out with a whole bunch of thuggish girls and, and stuff like that. She doesn't do that anymore because she has a family. She has to take care of both of them, do, And they just don't have time for that. And it, you know what? It don't even matter if you have kids. This is just the bottom line is that you cannot have a circle that big and, and, and not expect for them to hate on you and just be envious and jealous of you. You just can't. That's why I, I, I don't have no big circles of friends. I can count on one hand how many real friends that I have, but hanging out with all these people, my my best friend is myself and my husband and my family. That's, that's who I hang out with. That's who I know that ain't going to fuck me over. That's who I know that ain't going to sit there and beat me down in a room and record it. That's who I know that's going to have my back 100%. But those two dudes that were supposed to be her friend, y'all Y'all failed her. Y'all failed her miserably. Because if you were supposed to be in that room, you was not supposed to be recording. You was not supposed to be uh, instigating. And you was not supposed to be asking her to fight back when you see that obviously she did not want to fight. She did not want to fight. She thought that she was going to be on a trip with some friends. She wanted to have fun. She wanted to eat different food. She wanted to experience something different. She wanted to meet, maybe she wanted to meet some of the men down there. She wanted to, you know, possibly learn some different, uh, learn some of the Spanish, Mexican language. There's a lot to do over there, but to come here and to think that these people are your friends and to, it really must have been scary because she was by herself. There was, she was by herself, y'all. There was nobody in that room to protect her and just to beat that lady down like that and to leave the next day. And then they said that the girls that beat her down went to her mom's house and ate. That is an evil, devilish person. And I'm telling you, Shaquilla, you will get justice. We will make sure we will we will make sure that you get justice. We are gonna scream this to the bottom of the hilltop until people start to listen. I, I'm gonna keep talking about it, and I want some justice for this girl. This could have been my sister. This could have been my niece. This could have been anybody female in my family. That's why I feel so deep about this whole thing. We are going to get justice for Shaquilla. We are. We're not going to let this get swept under the rug. No, heck no. Heck no. There is no way in heck we're going to let them sweep this under the rug to just be another black girl that was accidentally. It ain't no accident. This was a pure setup. A peer set up because you can see when she was walking through and she was telling them to get ready and get ready. The girl standing there in a the dress just looking like, uh, I don't know if I want wear. How you don't know if you want to wear a dress, lady? You know, you just know that something's about to go down and you feel uncomfortable about it. Everybody in that room was uncomfortable because they was like, dang, they probably was like, oh man, she's about to get beat up. Homegirl's about to beat her down. Oh man. I hope it's not bad, but it was bad. It was bad. And all of y'all going down for it. all of y'all should get, I, I hope the judge throws the book at you guys. You all need to get life because you took that girl's life. You know, you beat her down and she, she didn't even want to fight back. I could see in the video, she, she, um, that she tried to fight back. But I think the girl had more masculine and was more manlier than her and had more man strength. So, Because I'm telling you, some women have man strength. I've been in a lot of fights in my life. Some women are very manly and they have that man strength. And it's probably because they grew up around a lot of boys. 
you know, and may, maybe she, she, you can see that Shankola was more feminine than these women, and that's why she didn't want to fight back. But she she did kind of try to, but when when the girl started putting that man strength on her, it, she just got overwhelmed, and the girl just started wailing on her, and she just didn't want to fight. And for him to be recording, talking about, oh, you ain't going to fight back. Dude, are you serious right now? You know what? If I was Shane Cole, I would have got up and started knocking him in his head, the one that had the dad on camera. I would I would be like, no, I ain't going to fight her, but I'm going to fight you for recording this crap. And I would have went into him because he's, he's the real one. He's the real instigator because when you behind the camera and you recording something, you like, oh, you ain't going to fight me. That's giving her more on the, yeah, I'm beating her. I'm beating her up. I'm beating her up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm beating her up. You just amping it up. You just instigating it. And I bet you half of them don't even feel bad about Shane Coyle uh, passing or what. I bet you they don't even care. Did any of them go to her funeral? Did y'all see any of those friends at her funeral? Because, look, even if they had did it, you know what I'm saying, and they did do it or whatever, you know, a real person that's, um, this remorseful about what happened, they would have showed up at that funeral. They would have showed up at that funeral. They would have went to talk to the parents. They would have been like, man, man, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. I don't know what, what I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? I just flipped out. You know, he was instigating me, and I just flipped out, and I didn't know what to do, and I just, uh, I, I went too far. I went too far. I went too far.